Hi guys, welcome to Java. Welcome to JavaInterviewQuestions.com. This is Sandeep. Today we'll see one important tutorial on and one of the frequently asked interview question: difference between arrays and collections. And this very important concept as well as one of the frequently asked interview question for zero to six years of experience. So let's see in detail what are the differences between arrays and collections with the help of an example. So first we will go through the differences and then we will see with the help of an example what are the differences between arrays and collections. So the first and uh, foremost and important point is arrays are fixed in size. Arrays are fixed in size. Whenever we are creating an array we need to give the size of the array otherwise it, it won't allow us to create an array. So once the array size is fixed we cannot add more, more elements to the array at runtime. So arrays are fixed in size and coming to the collections, collections are dynamic in size. Collections grow dynamically. So if we keep on adding elements to a uh, collection, it grows at runtime. So collections are dynamic in size. So let's see the example for this first point. Arrays are fixed in size, collections are dynamic in size. Here I have, here I have a class called array demo okay public class array demo here i am creating an integer array okay so whenever i am creating an array here i need to specify the size so here i can create an only elements here i can create an array with only 10 elements okay i cannot give more than 10 elements in this array if i try to give i'll get array index out of bound exception okay assume that if I don't give size here, I am deleting the size. So here I will get a compilation error. What is the compilation error? Variable must provide either dimension expression or an array initializer. That means here either we need to give the size or we need to initialize the array whenever we are declaring the array. Otherwise it will throw an compilation error. So once the 10 elements or once the array is occupied with the 10, el 10 elements we cannot add more elements to this array and coming to the array list see this is how we create an array list list equals to list list equals to new array list this is one of the collection okay we can keep on adding elements to this list we and this list grows dynamically we can add n number of elements to this collection okay we can add any number of elements to this collection here no need of uh, no need to mention any explicit size okay but here we need to mention the size in arrays this is the main first difference arrays are fixed in size and collections are dynamic in size okay hope you understand the first point arrays are fixed in size and collections are dynamic in size let's go to the second point allow same type of elements arrays allow same type of elements that means it allows only homogeneous elements Suppose we have created an array of type integer, it allows only integer elements. It does not allow string elements. Okay. And if we take collections, we can add both homogeneous and heterogeneous elements. In collections, we can add both homogeneous as well as heterogeneous elements. That means, we suppose if we have an array, sorry, if I have an array list with integer, we can create only of type list integer. If I take generic list without any generic, that means it will accept any type of objects. It accepts integer as well as string. Okay, now we'll see this example. Hello, same type of elements. See here. Here I have created an integer array, and uh, in this integer array, I'm inserting integer values. Suppose, for example if I am inserting string what happens I'll get compilation error why because this integer array will accept only integer elements let's see the error cannot convert from string to int type mispatch that means integer array will accept only integer elements we can't give string and coming to the list here if you see here is the list okay here I can add homogeneous that means same type of elements as well as heterogeneous here one is of type integer and two is of type string so I can add 
any elements to this list okay both homogeneous as well as heterogeneous so this is one of the other main differences arrays accept only homogeneous element collections accept both homogeneous as well as heterogeneous and third one arrays in arrays own logic for adding and insertion of elements and in collections we have a predefined method which helps in easy addition and removal of elements if we take arrays we need to implement our own logic for adding elements to the array and uh, removing elements from the array and in collections framework we have a predefined methods which helps in easy addition and removal of elements there is no necessity for the developer to define an explicit logic for addition and removal of elements okay framework itself provides the logic to add and remove the elements in collection okay this is the main important difference as well as it reduces the burden on the developer to write or to implement the coding logic for addition and uh, deletion of elements own logic for addition and deletion of elements if we take here first we'll come to the arrays okay i have created an array with 10 elements so to add an element to an array what i need to do first uh, i have to initialize an array and uh, i have to create an array and then i need to initialize or add elements to the array like this first we need to know the index and in that particular index if i want to add 100 okay here i will add the 100 at zero position and in third position if i want to add 400 an array of 3 equals to 400 okay like this we need to add if we want to add 10 elements we need to write 10 lines of code by knowing the index we need to insert the elements if there is any problem with the index or if we have uh, if you are giving the index more than the number of memory locations what will happen we'll get array index out of bound exception so to but in case of collections it's not there is no problem with the index or there is no problem with the addition and uh, deletion of the elements simply we can write a method we can call a method called list dot add and we can add an elements to the list list dot add of 1 list dot add of 2 list dot add of 3 it is simple it allows the sequential insertion of elements into the array and list will preserve the insertion order okay no need to write this complex logic for addition as well as removal of elements as we do in arrays compared to the collection so these are the three main differences between arrays and collections hope you guys understand this video thanks for watching this video if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe to my videos